Hello, this is Maria Borgoff, and today I want to talk about mindful consumption. So we kind of hear the word consumer, and a lot of us have a negative connotation with the idea of consumption. But being a consumer is not inherently a bad thing. We just happen to live in a current society that is consuming far much more than we actually need. And we can kind of see a lot of examples of this, of how this is negatively affecting us in our overconsumption of things. Um, but we also have to understand that being a consumer is a very natural thing. We have to consume in order to survive. We have to consume physically in terms of food and shelter uh, and clothing. We have to consume uh, mentally in terms of knowledge and information. We also have to consume emotionally in terms of relationships and communication with other people. But what's happening is that we are over consuming and we are also living in a current state where we have reached this point that we are consuming mindlessly. We are not paying attention in our act of consumption. And the evidence of this can be seen in the amount of trash that we are producing collectively. Um, it can also be seen in physical disease, obesity, levels of obesity in our society, overeating without processing our food or, or noticing which foods are good and bad. We're also mindlessly consuming information and the evidence of this is the increase of time that people are spending on social media and the decrease of time that they are spending face-to-face -face with other people. Um, these are just a few examples, but we are over-consuming and we are over-consuming mindlessly. And so how can we change this? How can we pay closer attention? And what will paying more attention do for us? How will it serve us? Well, there is this idea that the closer we pay attention, the more mindfully we are consuming, the less we actually need to feel satisfied. We actually need less food, information, communication. We need less of those things to feel nourished, to feel satisfied, and to feel full if we are paying close attention while we are consuming those things. So if I put a smaller portion on my plate and I eat slowly and I taste the food and I feel it going down into my stomach and I feel my, my stomach digesting it, I will need to eat less because I'm paying closer attention. If I pay closer attention to the physical sensations in my body when I am reading a news article, when I am on social media, if I pay closer attention to my mental habits and my emotions and my, and my body while I am consuming information, then I might find that I need to read less, that I want to read less, that just reading one article that day and I'm fully absorbing it, fully feeling it, is, is just the amount of nourishment that I need. And in terms of relationships, a lot of us kind of have these ideal scenarios or these ideal relationships that we are striving for. We want that perfect partner. We want that perfect friend. We want that perfect conversation and interaction with our family. But if we are not consuming the interactions that we are already having in a more mindful way, if we're not paying attention to those 
good things that are already happening, then we're going to keep looking and keep seeking that perfect ideal state, which is not possible. (laughs) So we might as well pay closer attention to the good things that are happening and also to the bad things that are happening so we can figure out how to you know, not let those happen as, as often or at all. So if we pay closer attention to all of the ways in which we are consuming things, a natural thing, a natural action of ours, if we pay closer attention in the act of consumption, we actually need less to feel satisfied. It's actually easier to feel nourished and to feel full. And I don't know about you, but I always love the feeling of fullness. Fullness emotionally, fullness mentally, fullness physically. We all are looking, we have this kind of, we're craving that feeling of fullness. So, so this is a way, interacting and consuming more mindfully, this is a way for us to, to attain that feeling of fullness more easily. So maybe you can look at just one part of your life, something that you might be currently fixated on, perfecting, um, and you you can consume that information more mindfully. Maybe this is, you know, you on social media. Maybe this is you in a specific relationship. Uh, Maybe this is your, um, you know, your diet and, and how you are consuming food. How can you take this practice of mindful consumption and apply it to how you are interacting with your world in one specific way? And then slow down in the process, pay closer attention and see if you need less to feel satisfied. It'll be a really fun experiment and I would love to hear how this goes for you and your thoughts. So I'll see you next time.